hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I seem to have this little white spot in my eyes after looking at the sun, and oh yeah, I'm going over today's science file. Today's science file, it says. Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. Okay, today's So Cool Science File is interactive! Because I am gonna trick your eyes into seeing things that are not there. Keep your eyes on the So Cool Science Show. And oh yeah, keep your eyes on the words too. <laughs> keep your eyes on the So Cool Science Show. Keep your eyes on the So Cool Science Show. Keep your eyes on the So Cool Science Show. <laughs> now that's so wicked cool. Hold on, if you think that's like wicked cool, you're gonna go, you're gonna go like nuts. Keep your eyes on the cute little bunny. Keep your eyes on the cute little bunny. Keep your eyes on the cute little bunny. Wow, now that is so friggin' wicked cool. So how, how, how could the bunny be brown if it was never brown to begin with? Wow, well, I'm gonna tell ya. So take a closer look at this. After images are images that continue to appear even after the image has been removed. When light comes into your eye and activates retinal cells for an extended period of time, usually about 15 to 20 seconds, this overstimulates the rod and cone retinal cells, causing them to fatigue and just keep sending the same information to your brain. When the image changes, these cells continue to send the same information to your brain. However, now with a new image of the words gone being sent to your brain, your brain combines these two signals into one image, which causes you to see the ghostly image of the words even though they are not present. When it comes to the bunny image effect, this may have to do with your brain being tricked. When the brown background color disappears completely and turns white, the white image of the bunny tricks your brain into thinking that if the brown image turned white, then the white image should change to brown. Since the only white color information your brain has sent was the white bunny, the image of the bunny appears brown, although this after image effect is not fully understood. Okay, so now you know how after images work. You know, seeing a cute little white bunny turn brown right before your eyes is why science is so cool. And I'm going this way this time.